The male orgasm is an explosive affair, while the female orgasm happens behind closed curtains. So what do we know about it? Well, with 8,000 nerve endings, the clitoris is definitely the star of the show. No wonder up to 70% of women require direct clitoral stimulation to achieve orgasm. Yet it's not all about the clitoris. In one study, 20% of women reported having orgasms just from kissing or performing oral sex on someone else. Orgasms can even sneak up from behind. 94% of women who had anal sex said they were able to climax. A lucky 10% of people have experienced orgasm through exercise. Of those, 51% say it was abdominal exercise that did it. What about purely vaginal orgasms? Kind of a myth. Research shows that they resonate from the clitoris, vagina, and uterus all working together. These three things make up the mythical G-spot. Great teamwork, body. But what goes on in her brain? After the big moment, oxytocin, prolactin, and endorphins are released, creating that nice, relaxed feeling. <sighs> However, at the same time, dopamine levels in the brain drop while prolactin levels increase. This drop can help the brain from wanting sex to the detriment of other necessary activities. Even more fascinating, a woman's pain threshold can increase up to 107% during orgasm, which may be linked to alleviating pain during childbirth. And orgasms do occasionally occur during childbirth, but only 0.3% of the time. A less stressful way of getting off is to join the 53% of American women who have used a vibrator. So now you know a little more about female orgasms, that great, mysterious journey to the top of Love Mountain. Now go put your knowledge to use, alone or with a friend. Oh, and why not subscribe to Wired?